Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! This morning, I'm starting my day at the auction house, offloading another truckload of stuff. That's really my goal here, is we're a couple days before Christmas. Today's the last day they're open before uh, the holidays. So I'm trying to get as much stuff over here as I can. The challenge is with only a couple days before Christmas, um, we're gonna have to shut down for probably two, three days or so until they're back open again. So I'm in a mad panic to get this place loaded up as much as possible. So throughout the day today, I've got to be making trips here. Um, I think that Hans has arrived too. So we're gonna go back to the house and check on Hans and see what he's up to. Check and see how Hans and Zenobi are doing. How's it going down here, guys? Wow, well, it's looking a lot tidier already. Even busy little bees down here. Okay. Anything fun so far? Christmas, Christmas ornaments. Christmas ornaments? Those are no. boring Christmas ornaments, yeah. I guess, when they're snornaments. They're snornaments. And they're having a sleep. I have, uh, <laughs> oh, telephone insulators. Right, these things. Yeah. I have been going through them, Alex Garbage, uh, this yeah. year. Likely, yeah. Yeah, I'm going, and that's garbage. I'm kind of going, no, you really can't. That's empty boxes and clothes this over empty there? Empty boxes yeah. and clothes. So Hans, how are you doing? Well, you know, I'm not doing too bad. Yeah, it's been, well, it's been busy. You said you were uh, doing floors yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I got the uh, floors done. No rest for a busy guy like you? No, she likes to keep me busy. She says I'm in less trouble that way. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> She's a pretty busy gal herself over there too. Oh, she is. Um, so we've got, through most of this, I guess we can probably start sorting over here. I've taken a bunch of stuff to auction already, and it's probably about time I start getting these boxes over to see what's in them. Because you just never know. I have someone who's interested in, a friend of mine's interested in the, the milling machine. Josh was, but he decided to pass. So we'll see, maybe I can sell all the, uh, the milling tools in one go to a guy. That would be nice. Still a lot of trash back here. It's probably be the last area of the house that I fully get to. You know, before I start in the basement with you guys, I might just go check that hall closet upstairs. And I kind of wanted to peek under the insulation in the attic and see if there's anything under there too. So I'm gonna go do a little snooping, but I'll be right back. No problem. Sounds good. And then I'll order us some lunch too. House is really starting to empty out. I mean, there's still lots of clutter and things to be gone through but we're consolidating oh still so much stuff I mean it's getting manageable though and every load that Hans takes out to the dump is one less that we have to worry about in the house so I'm gonna make my way upstairs here I think I've got a couple storage bins sitting in this little room over here Oh, maybe they took them. Oh no, there's one full of jewelry boxes. Right, there's still a bunch of records up here too. Neil Diamond. Okay, well I'll bring those down in a bit. <laughs> I have to carry that dresser down at some point. Still work to be done. But I never really did go through the closet here. Let me just turn the light on. And I might go grab an empty box from downstairs. I can start putting some of this linen in. First order of business. Most of these linens can be donated and reused. So look at them out. Some of them are even still brand new in the plastic. I'll make sure these at least can find a new home somewhere. And I should probably go through some of this too and make sure there's nothing hidden in between. 
don't think that would be, if anything, it would be down in this area. Or maybe at the top. Let's have a look. Anything at the top of the linen closet? Nothing in there. And, nope. Empty. Okay, let's try row number two here. Some pillows, more decorative linens. Decorative pillows. You just never know when there's something hidden in here. That looks like a wall hanging. Yep, it is. Wall art. Pillows. And nothing. I'm gonna have to go get another box. This one's already full. You can believe that. Okay. While I was getting another box for the linens, I got called downstairs by Hans and Zenobia. Oh, did you find some old school ornaments? Oh, that yeah. beautiful tree stand. Yeah, that's no, a no, fancy no. one, isn't it? I, like, if I was a kid, I would absolutely love these. Because if you look, they open. Oh, cool, okay. But no, no. Want to see what used to be in them? Chocolate. Not open. Candies. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bag of them. Like, a whole bag of these. Don't it's think I trust eating the candies no, after this one. No, but it's, I'm going, and because I geocache, one of those hanging on a tree somewhere. Well, why don't you take them with you, Zenobia? Oh, no, I'm good with that. But but then, then remember this. I'm sorry. I, I know this probably yeah. means nothing, but the old Coke bottle. Oh, yeah, the funny little round one. Right, that we used, and then we didn't even put order of Oh, there's going to be a few little treasures, I'm sure. Where's that beautiful tree ornament you found? Which one? I thought the you were. The one you showed me. Right. <laughs> Alex thought I was the tree. Well, you were standing on top of the tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, they have like these tree toppers and stuff. But I mean, that's... Yeah, those are all old glass. Yeah. I mean, so we'll save all that all stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. why they're all in there. If there's a cardboard box, we can fill it up with all the ornaments. We'll, we'll throw those through the sale. Okay, well, we looked after. Like, this is one of all ornaments. And it looks like you found the Polaroid cameras, too. I haven't even got there yet. <laughs> well, I was wondering where they went to, because there's a billion Polaroids upstairs. But I didn't know where the cameras went. Now we know where the cameras are. The cameras are like the neatest thing. Sorry, I just, I don't know. I like that. I skimmed this corner the other day, but I didn't fully go through it. There's lots of little wrapped ornaments over here. Yeah. These are all chalkware ornaments. Those will all go upstairs. You don't need this. Okay, I'm going to go continue emptying out that closet. Are yeah. there uh, blue garbage bags down here somewhere? Yeah, there, uh, no, there isn't. Oh. You seem so confident, and then you weren't. I know. Okay. No, I'm, it's the wrong day. Okay. I'm going to grab one of these bags. I'm going to fill it with uh, linens that can go to charity. Watch walk away. Watch walk away. Well, I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> Got the hall closet emptied out. You know it's been sitting a while. Look at these old nail polishes that are in here. And the toilet paper roll at the bottom. Truly fine. Based on all the stuff that's sitting here, I'd say this closet has been open probably since the 70s or 80s. There was this really cool lamp. It's very Art Deco, has that skyscraper sort of look about it. Um, I don't know that it was originally meant to be black on the inside. Maybe it was. Probably was. But isn't that ever cool? The bulb is like a little uh, flower itself. Really interesting little thing. <laughs> so I'm happy to find a cool lamp in here anyway. But now I guess I should check that attic out and make sure there's nothing underneath it. I didn't check under the insulation and I figure I'll do that today in case I missed something. Hey, up we go into the great unknown. Oh, it's so gross. There's been squirrels up here. Okay. Insulation, what's underneath? More insulation, more insulation. No, I don't know if there's going to be anything up here, guys. Other than a bunch of pine cones and dirt. Oh, I can see that there's uh, wood planks down. That would mean that somebody was walking up here. Those are generally down so that you can uh, 
put weight without wrecking the, the roof. Let's see. Anything? Nope, I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna just take one more step up. See if there's anything hidden back here. Kind of a tiny little attic. Anything in this bag? Nope. Hmm. Why would they put planks down? Maybe to access the the airways, the hatches. I don't see anything that looks like it's up here though, guys. Nothing back in the rafters. Yeah, I'm gonna officially say that the attic is a bust, is empty. Nothing looks like it was disturbed that long ago. I don't think anything here looks like it's not meant to be here. Thought that was a bag just as I said that. Except for what this hidden bag that's right here. Nope. Okay. Nothing in the attic officially. I would say I'm going to get out of here, close this hatch back up, and then go wash my hands. While I'm at it, I should probably check the secret little doorway here. There is a pile of stuff in here. Mainly looks like clothing. Put a glove on. Because I don't want to get sick from whatever's in here. Looks like a pile of clothing. Blouses. This is probably where it all started. Probably a lot of old stuff back here. Sweaters. You'd think the stuff in the suitcase would still be okay. Look, there's racks and racks of clothing back here still. Oh, these bags are deteriorating. Have a quick peek into the or see where the beam is. Remnants of old clothes under here. Let's see if I can grab that suitcase. There's something kind of hidden back by the wall, like an old serving tray over there. Don't want to fall through. <coughs> but it looks like this area was used for storage. Let's see. Can I grab the case? I don't know. Got the one case. It was empty. Reach it. There's another suitcase here. Oh, feels empty too. Nice little cases though. Look how much stuff is packed in here. The squirrels must have gone crazy back here for ages. Feels empty. But. Nice little suitcase. I'll put that out here. Matching set. So what's underneath all this stuff? It goes way back. I don't know if I'm brave enough to walk back here. There's a sign that says that you fall through the floor if you step back here. <coughs> Probably a lot of decent clothes that if they were cleaned up, they'd be half, half usable. Well, it's like a shelf. I'm feeling a lot of this is just clothing, but. Hong Brothers, Hong Kong. Oh look, there's like vintage Asian garments, maybe from trips, trips over to China, old jackets. Okay. Well, this might be worth exploring a little bit more down the road. I don't see anything else hidden back here. This is kind of a dormant area. Okay. I'm going to back away slowly. 
Oh, I'll see if I can get that other bag before I do, because you just never know. You just never know what's inside a suitcase. Oh. Look how packed that is. This is this looks like it's mainly been squirrels in here. Hans and Zenobia are somewhere over there, digging in the corner. Back to this thing. Making progress. I have climbed up on top of the couch and started to dig through some of the cupboards up top here. These, I believe, are the bane of my existence. These are all quote unquote collector plates. Norman Rockwell, you know, that sort of stuff. People do buy them, I guess, but I'm not a fan. They're the, the things that people say are collectible that actually aren't. Probably more rare to find a 1970s Allen's chocolate egg that's still intact than it is to find a Norman Rockwell collector's plate. That's gross and fascinating at the same time that it still looks like chocolate. Weird, Those little cat ornaments. Sort of like a rubber squeeze toy almost. Just like... <laughs> My dog would probably go crazy for that. I think down here, we got some dishes. Cutlery. Carrot. A shaker of some kind. Maybe there was a pear. I don't think that'd be for salt because it's pretty darn big. Of course, there are little salt and pepper shakers in here though. I'll come back and clean that out in a bit. I'm just snooping right now because I haven't been able to get in here much. Chalet glass. Broken though. Otherwise, that would have been a kind of a good piece. Little jars and containers and handmade things macaroni art and shells you take a, a glass jar <clears throat> light fixture light fixtures i should say china teacups come to the end of the couch okay, these are for your plates what are they they're like a plate uh they're for ornamental plates that you can set it up they're oh i see probably for the ones that are in the yeah. closet over here yeah okay i'm gonna step down oh ever they so carefully were... never used it's still in their box <laughs> Ooh. that one's cleaned out and ornaments There was a silverware set up here that I don't see anymore. Maybe it's in one of the other cupboards. Lots of little ornaments. More chalet glass. Broken. Maybe that one's unbroken over there. Borax. Hey, you found a found a box of borax. Very nice. How much? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's borax. Borax, yes. <laughs> but yours a 20 mule team borax. That's an old box. Is it full? It is absolutely full and it's heavy. I can't make slime out of that. Yeah, that's what my kids use for making slime too. <laughs> yeah. So it's done. I think it's a sk old skinning knife. Oh, maybe. Oh, wow. We're getting through it. it. Did you look behind this paneling to see if anything was back I here? Can't, uh... Pipes, cobwebs. Some poor little plastic jug that fell down. That's what it is. That's upstairs. Is that a little uh, piano? Yeah, excuse me. Yeah. I'm going to play you some music here. I don't sound very good. I kind of like a broken record. It's scratched. Oh, you found a tiny piano. Kind of cute. Is it a jewelry box? It's, I think so. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. yeah some kid would like that back in the day. I am going to see. Maybe we can start tunneling out this side over here. Okay, yeah. You guys want to switch over to this side for a bit, since that looks like it's mostly garbage on that side. Well, I still have this is the uh, this is the unknown area. This is the untouched, unknown space. Still yet to dig through. I'm going to start moving some of these things over. I guess now that we've got some space cleared out, I'll move it over here. Leather. 
leather scraps, leather pieces, probably good for crafting. With the table out of the way, I can actually start to see what's back here. This is what I thought might have been an Elma sewing machine. They usually come in these sort of green tins like this. Let's open it up and have a look. Yep, it's an Elna. It's a good quality machine. Of course, now that I opened it, you think I could close it up again? No. Nope. Right, so there's an Elna and three other sewing machines, including a nice green, emerald green Etonia and what looks like a little Notions cabinet over there. Not sure what's in these bags yet. Looks like little clumps of Ah, dead animal <laughs> fur. And some really worn, like, I mean, your toes would have been sticking out of that. Actually, the mice might have eaten that away. So some trash and some treasures worthy of saving and bringing upstairs. I can finally see what is on this wall too. Little dolls. Vogue magazines. When were these put here? I'm guessing the 70s. 1977. Last time these moved. Let's see. Boy, they're all curled over. They're barely hanging on. We got 1970s Vogue magazines. And nothing in them other than high 1970s fashion. Yeah. Zenobia's digging, Hans is taking stuff up to the dump, and I'm sitting here and I find something ominous. Like when gangsters say, I'm gonna give Fat Tony cement shoes. I found a shoe full of plaster, which I think they missed the point. The guy's supposed to be in it when they drop him in the lake. That's your low rent mobster right there. I don't know what the idea was here. Maybe they're making a form or something. Either way was probably a good shoot one time. It's garbage now. Oh, I think these guys might've had a dog and then they couldn't find it. You know how, um, how I know this? Because I found spot remover. Uh, Did you find a, do a, a dog underneath there, Alex? No, I just found remnants that their dog disappeared on them. I did find a bunch of dolls though. And some of these I'm not really familiar with. No, there's, that's, that, I don't know if that's Raggedy Ann, but there's this little girl here. There's a whole pile of different ones. Not overly familiar with them. I'm finding a few little comics. Call the Conqueror number one. Warp. A few. Slightly newer. I was joking about the cement shoes, but there's your uh, Hollywood gangster calendar right there, never used. What year is this? 2004. Well, that's more recent. Moved, moved up a little bit in age. Okay, well, they're working downstairs. I'm going to clean out some of the glasses up top here to get them ready for a charity trip. We have the bunch of boxes in the basement. Uh, yes, there's plenty of boxes down here. I'm gonna grab a couple file boxes. Take these upstairs. Um, oh, we'll hang on to them. I mean, somebody might like them. The patterns we'll keep. Oh, he has. Probably like that. Guess what we found in the tool room? <laughs> in the back of the toolbox underneath. Wow, it's the missing headstock for the Gibson. That's perfect. Now I might actually be able to get a luthier to put that back Look together. Who sold it. Harmony Kids Musical Instruments. Where was that? White Avenue. White Ave, okay. Yeah, back in the old days. Wow. The summer's probably like that. Oh yeah, we got him. We got Stephen a whole bunch of extra slide rules. That's awesome. Yeah. That's the best find I think of the day so far. Oh wait, is there more? This is for a gun sight. I know. There's a whole bunch of gun stuff, but no Do guns. Do you want me to just keep keys? Yeah. If aren't for the toolbox, I tried. I wonder what's behind the toolbox. And here's your coin that uh, you probably want to get rid of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Melissa would appreciate me cashing that in. No, no. <laughs> Do you want little lenses and things like that? I don't know. Well, we'll continue searching. My friend Dale is helping me out with uh, the searching. I am really happy about this. That's a top pocket find. Well, let's see, bottom pocket find for me. 
I'm gonna head up to. How's it going, by the way, Hans? Good. You know, how many boxes do you need upstairs? Just two for now. Okay. I'm gonna uh, start emptying dishes out, and I ordered us food as well. What's that? Petrified wood. We'll keep that. Yep, petrified wood. We'll keep absolutely. This little school desk will do the trick. Let's see if I can work my way over here. Probably keep some of these Disney cups together. What was that? Something fell over by my feet. Oh, there's a bunch of them back here. Hang on. Hang on. That's money. That's a hundred dollar bill. That's more than one. Okay, I'm gonna count this up, guys. Find somewhere to set this. All this stuff in here and there's no place to put anything. Let's see how many we found. Okay, let's sit down. Let's count them up. There are 15 of them here. I mean, there's $1,500 profit today and cash just by going through the Disney cups. I guess I better go through the rest of that kitchen now. Well, good thing lunch was on me already, but you now have to pay for dinner too. Woohoo! Okay, we finished up lunch, late lunch. It's like uh, three o'clock. Finished up lunch. Got my last load of stuff over to the auction before Christmas. Uh, I'll pick this back up again after the weekend, but uh, there's only one day that I can take things in and that's on Monday. So I'm gonna have to really get to it on that Monday. We'll try and load up a couple other things in the back so it's ready to go. Um, super happy about finding that Gibson part. Uh, now I have a complete Gibson, um, maybe not all in one piece, but a good luthier, a good uh, person who repairs guitars, a luthier, uh, will be able to fix that. I'm confident they'll be able to fix it. I've seen worse come back to life. Um, they'll have uh, to work some miracles on it, but I do know a couple good luthiers in town here, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to put that thing back together thankfully because that's going to be a very nice guitar when it's done uh gonna head back over see how hans and zenobia are doing and uh, continue clearing out the kitchen maybe i'll have some more luck and find uh, some other money this house keeps every every time i'm here and i start feeling like i'm about to give up like i just want to go like today i was feeling that way i was like nothing but a bunch of garbage <laughs> they rewarded with 1500 bucks in a disney cup so uh i guess i'll keep going because uh now I'm just wondering if there's more. <laughs> and it's not all about the money, it, it's just fun. It's an adventure, it's a treasure hunt. Who wouldn't be happy about finding 1500 bucks? I know I am. Uh, and we'll put it to good use as well. Anyway, off I go, back to the house, hopefully find some more treasures and uh, get them loaded over to the auction. So if you guys remember my friend Dale, uh, Dale's the one that helped me haul the truck out of the bush. Uh, when Jason and I went and got that 50, was it? Oh, it was a three window, five window Chevy truck. That's it. Yes, there we go. Boy, it seems like ages ago. And you yeah. were a trooper, you helped haul it out. Well, at least it was the summertime. And so uh, Dale also is a machinist and does all sorts of work, but he needed some supplies and saw that we had that little mill and the lathe and uh, Josh decided not to get it, so that means that it's all yours now. So supplies, it's mine. Supplies, it's yours. <laughs> and on top of that, you found the, the missing piece of my Gibson guitar, so um, much appreciated. That that was a really good when find. When I saw that, my eyes just went really big because I knew that would make you happy. It did make me, it made me so happy. I'm keeping it in my pocket here for safekeeping <laughs> because it's just the best day ever now. <laughs> well, thanks, Alex. I hope you take some Christmas time off and start this back again at least on the 27th yeah 26th or 7th i'll get back to oh, it so wow. it's going to be uh, a nice to have a couple days off but thank you for coming i hope you have a merry christmas dale merry christmas to you and your family oh well, we'll come and do the progress update downstairs lots of empty boxes corner you can actually see all the walls Chalkware, <laughs> kind of cool actually. Chalkware decorations. Whole little set of them. <coughs> A 
lots of stuff to go to charity. How's it going back here? Well, not too bad. I can see why she had silver. This stuff actually doesn't really go bad. I could probably still use that. Oh yeah. That's a big jug of it too. That's cool. Might, might take that home. Clean it out under here. Oh, it's Dolly. Yeah. That's where she kept the dolls. <coughs> and the yarn, apparently. <coughs> Are you alright? It's the dust down here. I'm wearing a mask and this dust is just getting to me. I don't know how long I can stay in the basement for until this all settles down. So I'm thinking guys, we'll probably call it a day because next up is Christmas. And then we'll reconvene here maybe uh, Monday. Oh, that sounds good to me. If that works for you. Yeah. Just getting last load of garbage out and then I still have to pull that sewing machine up. <laughs> There's just stuff flying at you from over there. I know, he's dangerous. The magical Hans just whipping stuff around the corner. Yeah, we'll hang on to the yarn. It's perfectly good. Just a couple nice steamer trunks over here. Are those old uh, Christmas cards? No, this one is a baby announcement. Baby's first birthday, baby's lock of hair, and they've written in it. Somebody's baby slippers, I'm sure. Well, they're little moccasins. They're beaded, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Those they're are probably native or something. Well, they'd be, yeah, indigenous made. Yeah. And here we have signs that there's been major mice down here. And what book did you find? The Tale of Two Bad Mice. I think there's been more than two bad mice down here. But that's an <laughs> early Beatrix Potter. Let's see what edition that is. Judging by the, the way it's written, it looks like it's going to be probably from the 40s or so, but that's still cute and kind of gross at the same time because of how many actual mice have been down here. Oh, the irony of it all. We'll hang on to that, though. So, my chair? Yeah, man. Han says he found my chair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Were you bringing it out? I am. Um... This, this is gonna be, I imagine it's gonna be small. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> this is where it's small. You have to dance this thing because it's good. For dolls. Yeah. I joked last time I found a tiny little stool. I said it was a stool sample. Oh. <laughs> you should take it into the doctor's office in a little cup. Say, I brought, brought you my stool sample. All right, so maybe one last load of garbage and we'll, we'll head her? Yeah. Okay. Squeeze here. Poor little guy got caught in the mouse trap. Surprisingly, it still works. So we're about ready to call it a night. And the uh, money that I found, well, I gave it to Hans and Zenobia for all their help. Challenges. Um, the problem, as you can see, is that Hans is digging in the dumpster because you will have a Merry Christmas. Um, they accidentally threw it out. So <laughs> I gave them the money. They said, thank you very much. Well, they put it in a special little container. Day, I swear I won't throw it in the bin. Oh boy. <laughs> so Hans is busy digging. I'm gonna help him look for it in a minute here, but this is what's happened. They've lost like over a grand um, in the trash. So um, we'll give you an update as soon as we have one. <laughs> no luck yet. You seem like a pretty happy guy considering there's a bunch of money in the trash. <laughs> you found it, didn't you? I, 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 we, I, we can't tell Sonovia. Oh, you did. Okay, you found it. Well, you're just going to let her... Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> we yeah. got to go get her. She's stressing downstairs, dumping bags of garbage out. <laughs> She's going to make more work for uh, for boxing for the day after Christmas. <laughs> you... But it did actually get thrown. You did actually throw it out, though, right? Oh yeah, I found it right, right here. Oh, so it did. Okay, you weren't just messing it, with me. It actually did no, get no, thrown I out. No, no, I did find it. Oh boy. Okay, well that's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go save your woman before she goes crazy down there. That's too late. It's too late. <laughs> Poor Zenobia. She's just been beside herself. We've all been looking for this money for the last little bit. You keep it safe inside a kitchen for who knows how long, and then it gets thrown out.
Hey, Zenobia. Yeah. You want to come help us look? Did he find it? I found it, but you're not getting it again. Okay, as long as you got it. <laughs> oh my God, high five, there you go. But she don't like money, so <laughs> yeah, you should so never give it to her, you should always give it to me. So what, you put it in your pocket? Yes, and I was doing stuff doing this, right? Like throwing stuff down, so it probably went well, into the... Next time I'll give it to Hans, he can tuck it in his beard for safekeeping. Oh well, God. at least it'll be safe in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, so my look, heart. I found a turkey and it was had a, it caught in the mouse trap. Yeah, I saw that it was sitting there. <laughs> oh. You know, you're going to have to disinfect your beard now after touching that thing. <laughs> I wash it every night anyway. What, the turkey or the beard? <laughs> uh, well, I should maybe wash the turkey. It's oh. different. Well, it is going to be Christmas time soon, speaking of turkey. So, um, I guess we'll head out, guys. Merry Christmas to you both. And Merry Christmas to everybody out there. And, um, yeah, we'll be back again after the holidays to uh, continue searching. We still haven't done the garage yet. Oh, well, I can't wait for that one, but it's going to be cool. Oh, it won't be so bad. And off they go, a couple of the best friends you could ask for. And for me, well, I'm not really going to miss the place. It's been a lot of work this past week. We still have a lot to take down to the auction house, but we're making some serious progress. Everywhere I look though, there's still so much more that has to go. And I know this job isn't over yet, but I'm ready for it to be. But for now, I'm gonna focus on family and on Christmas and uh, just enjoying my time with the kids while I try and find the light switches for this kitchen. And uh, what better Christmas gift that I could give to a couple of my friends than to give them the money that I found to help uh, pay them for their time and efforts and for helping me out. So off I go with my gift of my now complete Gibson guitar. I just have to find someone who can fix it for me and um, things are starting to look up. So have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, we'll see you guys for the, the next episode, which will be coming out, um, well, just after this. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you all soon and bye for now.